Hello Unity fans, in this new video I want to show you how to move a 3D character with a click to move C Sharp script. For the character I used the free Toon Soldier that you can download from the Unity Asset Store, the link is added to the description below. I import the model here into a new Unity 2017 project. Beside the character we need a small environment which we can also download for free from the Asset Store. I choose this low poly environment pack you can find the download link in the description. After importing this, I opened the first demo scene with a low poly desert. Ok, this looks nice and now I drag my character into the scene. After that we have to bake a nav mesh which indicates the area where the character is allowed to move. Just open the nav mesh tab and press bake. These blue areas that you can see after the baking process is the nav mesh. For the player to be able to use the nav mesh he needs a component called nav mesh agent. I press add component and add it to the player. Great, I will use two animations for the character, an idle and a running animation. I drag the idle animation here that is included in the pack to the character and an animator controller is created and assigned to the soldier now. When I open this you can see that now idle is defined as the default state. The package contains four animations, an idle, running and two shooting animations. But we just need the running animation so I will drag this into the animator controller now. Ok, then I'm going to define a parameter of type bool and call it running. The next thing we need is a transition from idle to running. I disable has exit time and for the condition I define that the running parameter has to be set to true. A second transition has to be made from running to idle and this will only be executed if the running parameter is set to false. Alright, that's it for the animator controller. Now we add a new C Sharp script to the soldier called click to move and open it in Visual Studio. In the new class click to move we need two member variables, one for the animator and one for the nav mesh agent. We get these components and assign them to the member variables in the start method. The click to move logic will be implemented in the update method. First let's create a ray by using the method screen to point ray of my main camera. Then I check if the left mouse button is pressed and if this is true, I use the method raycast to get the point where my mouse cursor hits the mesh collider of the terrain. For the parameter max distance I use 100. If the raycast has been successful, I set the destination of the nav mesh agent to the hit point. Then I check if the remaining distance of the nav mesh agent is less than the stopping distance and if this is the case the player reached the destination and we can set running to false, otherwise to true. To store this I defined a variable of type bool and called it mrunning. What's left now is to set the running parameter for the animator controller to the mrunning member. Back in the editor I define new values for the nav mesh agent. I increase the speed and the angular speed. This has to be set quite high. For the acceleration let's use 12 and then set the stopping distance to 1. Ok, let's start the game. Now I can click somewhere in the environment and the character is moving to this point. So this is a very simple version of a click to move script. There are some improvements especially for performance that you can add but I will point this out in a future video. Guys if you liked this one please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching this and thanks for your support if you already support me on my Patreon. 
and I hope you come back soon to JNM.